Good afternoon, everyone in the UK. My name is Steve, and I am coming to you from the Forterra offices in San Mateo, California, where it is 4:42 in the morning. Yes. Okay. Um, Coventry University was the recent venue, virtually and in reality, for the Serious Virtual Worlds conference. Technology experts from across the globe met to discuss the different ways that immersive virtual environments can be used, and the ways in which businesses might benefit. Virtual worlds are increasingly being used not just for entertainment, but also for learning and training applications, known as serious games. Right, ma'am. It's hard to breathe in. Yes, my. The West Midlands is becoming established as a world leader in this field. With the conference marking the opening of the Serious Games Institute at the university, this is one of the first institutions in the world that is actually taking a look at this technology and figuring out how it can be applied for anything other than just entertainment purposes. Now you have an organization of this intelligence marshaling these resources, doing nothing but studying something like that. That's very powerful, and and it's going to be a center of gravity around, I believe, the world to really work together and trying to find serious applications of these technologies. We've got some fantastic games companies on our doorstep. You know, people like Blitz Games and Code Masters and Pixel Learning are going to be based here. They're world leaders in their field, so it's a, a natural extension of what's already going on in, in in the Coventry area. One of the things that I think is quite significant and and is real value for the region is how we're developing relationships with national and international partners and bringing some leading companies into the region. You know, we're working with people like Cisco in the States and Junti Labs in Italy. Uh, we're working with Forterra Systems in the in the USA.、Um, they're one of the leading developers of these virtual world technologies, and we're going to be their UK base. The SGI is both an international research centre and home to serious games companies. SGI is massively important, not only for the region as a kind of a signpost to say this region is serious about looking at games technologies for training, for learning, for simulation. And I don't think really there's anything to compare with the, the expertise that's being brought together here in the UK and probably not in Europe. And in the field of learning and training, there's already a lot happening in the region. Pixel Learning, based at the SGI, is using a virtual environment as a new approach to diversity training in the USA. As you know, you'll be working as a resourcing assistant in the control centre here, and I'm the manager in charge of all resources on Macrini, as well as developing a game which allows employees to test run a marketing department, carry out market research to find out what customers want. Choose which product you will manufacture and take to market. Blitz Games in Leamington Spa has set up a specialist serious games division, TrueSim. One recent project showed that serious games could save lives. Triage Trainer simulates a city centre explosion to enable a realistic training environment for the treatment of multiple casualties. We've developed a simple physiological model that drives the appearance of an avatar. Now, this is highly realistic, and it's the first time I believe that we've seen a representation of a human figure that actually feels real. And it's not just about the graphical appearance; it's about the movement and it's about the behaviour of this avatar. Given the accelerating progress of virtual world technology. And a broader public awareness of environments such as Second Life, it's an exciting time. With a virtual world, people don't have to travel; they can log in anywhere where they have a PC and a broadband connection. They can show up in the world and run exactly the same kind of group scenarios in the virtual world as you would in the real world. There's a great return on investment for that.、Um, organizations can save a lot of money、um, because they don't have to have people travel, and they can be much more effective because they're going to be properly trained. Not only training in military environments, which serious games is often used for, or training in health-related、uh, emergency situations, which it's also very useful for, but to us, serious games means addressing serious social problems which affect us all on a daily basis. So that's kind of the the real-world experience that my team brings in. To the enormous knowledge and resources that the group here in Coventry has, so it looks like the SGI will have a huge global impact. They're doing work here、uh, that were, were things that a number of us large organizations had roadmapped for years in the future, 
and they're doing them now. So we're really looking forward to seeing the output of these folks and the, and the work that all of these great minds are doing. It's going to be a great benefit to the community and to the adoption of these technologies overall. I can't name five places else on the planet that have this. In terms of having the expertise, having the right people together with a vision and a, and, and a plan that they're now going to build on each other's expertise, engage in real world issues, and make a difference. It's just very exciting, and I think this is going to be a world caliber uh, and attractive center that you're going to find people from around the world physically visiting, but definitely they're going to virtually visit on a regular basis.